Hi, I'm Jake. It's March 28th, and we're out in the back of our uh, of our pyramid vineyard again. It has been a week since we came out here and did an update on bud break, and uh, two weeks since the first time we came out and took pictures of of the buds on our Cabernet vines out here. And finally, we see a little bit of activity. Most of these buds here, you can still are still covered with a with a bud scale. This brown thing here. And you can see that they're splitting, all of them are splitting, and there's fuzz there, and there's swelling, and there's a little bit of activity going on. But right here, you can actually see um, the beginning of leaves. In the last few weeks, there hasn't been anything like that. Now, it just rained today, and it's been a little, it's been cooler, and just like your lawn, you know, these, this stuff is moving along, and you think you're going to have something exciting to show people and come out and uh, there are going to be baby leaves on the vines and then the weather gets cool and the vines just tend to slow down a bit. So there you go. That's as close as we can come out here. And you can see on the back of this vine, same same, there's another little round piece there. And it's hard to understand why this particular vine looks more advanced than the ones around it since it's kind of in the shade of this tree right here. Um, well, anyway, let's go out to uh, my folks place on Chalk Hill and uh, take a look at the Chardonnay there. Get a little bit of that off. It's just got that little bit of fuzz on it and you can see that those are the leaves. On the red, on, for red varieties, the leaves always show red when they're first coming out and the veins and the leaves always show red and you can tell that this is a white grape just because of the color of the, of the bud which is basically like a light bright green. So it's starting to happen here. We'll come out here next week and there probably still won't be leaves, but I think we're going to see a lot more swollen buds, a lot more activity. Oh, so we were just about to go over to Red Wine. We were walking out of the row and I forgot. I, I wanted to mention that here you have a cordon. That's what this is called. There's a, cor a cordon or a cordon. And these are spurs right and they all have buds on them and you can see that the buds are starting to come out here and then this it's on the second row on the second uh trellis wire here you can see it there here is a better neater example of it right so this is called the cordon and this is what's called a kicker and there are a lot of different reasons that you do this one of the reasons i like it is where Chardonnay grows that I like tends to be foggy and tends to be relatively wet in the morning and I want to keep the fruit as spread out as possible. You know, you want to be able to have a bunch of little bunches and air separating each of the bunches. And so you're better off having some of them up here and some of them down here than you are trying to crowd a bunch of stuff on the same vine. You want them all to, you don't want any of the fruit touching any of the other fruit because if it gets any rain or if for whatever reason there's a lot of humidity and mildew or rot become an issue, you want there to be as much air circulation as possible. I can feel a breeze on my back as we're doing this and that right there, that little breeze, is the thing that is going to save you from, from rot and mildew issues and the vines, the grapes benefit from that when they're, they're better exposed. There's that. Plus, we'll see as time goes on that the kicker cane will actually develop a little bit differently in the spring than the cordon will, than the cordon will. They'll come into balance at the end of the year, but they will break dormancy a little bit at a little bit different times, and then they'll flower at a little bit different times and set at a little bit different times. So what that means is that if you have some really unpredictable weather event, like say tons of rain when the vines are flowering, maybe it screws up the crop on the cordon and because the kicker cane has already set, the rain doesn't affect it. Anyway, we'll talk more about that later. So here we are in the bottom of uh, the Red Winery Road vineyard. Up um, in front of me here, you can see how the vineyard just runs up, oh gosh, almost half a mile and then goes up into that little hill there, and that's where we have our winemaker dinner. So the top of that hill on that little deck right underneath those trees, and that top block is all Cabernet, and that's usually where the single vineyard Cabernet comes from. And next door you can see where they're planting some new Chardonnay there too. But anyway, down here um, on this side of the field we've got like a bunch of different little experimental stuff. Um, some Tempranillo and some Cabernet Franc up here, a little bit more Tempranillo down here, some Malbec over in, in this part of the field, and right here is Petit Verdot. 
So this is another Bordeaux variety. There are five noble Bordeaux varietals, red varietals. Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, Malbec, and Merlot. So Petit Verdot is another Bordeaux variety like Cabernet Sauvignon, but obviously um, pretty different. It makes small, really darkly colored berries and really dark, really intense wine. Um, it's delicious wine, and this is actually a really good vineyard for it, but we don't bottle it under hawks. Anyway, it's exciting to see how far along these vines are. This is about um, seven miles north. Eight, it's probably eight miles north of the pyramid. And you can see this is way farther ahead than the pyramid is. There's popcorn all over the place. This is actually kind of kernels. But you can see here, if you get close, just a bunch of leaves all curled around each other. Cool, that's, and that's actually happening. You see that there? That's leaves too. Anyway, neat. So this stuff's really going. And it's the 28th of March. So frost is definitely not outside the uh, realm of possibility. That's the downside to all this. Anyway, things look really nice out here. We cultivated here too last year. We, actually, we ripped the ground here last year, which we hardly ever do, kind of in the hopes of stirring things up a little bit. But I like the way it looks. See you next time.